Is there such thing as an exotic truck? Let's find out. I borrowed this truck from Larry H. Miller, Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah. It is available for sale. Let's go ahead and check out the window sticker and the pricing on this Black Widow build. So here is the original window sticker. This is a 2024 Ram 2500 Laramie, Mega Cabinet Edition. Base price is $65,320. Be sure to pause it for the standard equipment and the options. Now total price is going to be $84,225 including a $19.95 destination. Now you won't probably be able to see it here, but I will try to show it to you the best I can. This truck does have the Black Widow package, so 5 inch suspension lift, 22 inch black off road wheels, 37 inch tires, and I'll show those to you. They did recalibrate the speedometer, you have the fender flares, power running boards, Black Widow custom stitching in the headrest, red LED interior lighting, Black Widow performance front windshield, snipe, premium quality, Black Widow exterior badging, hi-hat paint, and FMVSS compliant, three year 36 warranty, all that for $29,547, which means this truck cost $113,772. If you go on Larry H. Miller's website, they should have the truck discounted. Now let's talk about the Laramie Night Edition. I think that this setup from Ram makes it so easy for Black Widow to put their treatment on it because they give you the painted bumpers, they black out the emblems, the grill, and it added the Sport Performance hood. The Sport Performance hood on this Black Widow, it completes the look. It looks menacing actually. And the black roof, I actually like it. At first when I saw it, I didn't think I was gonna like it. And then when I walked up to it, I said, you know what? It adds a nice contrast with the black or night edition package. 22 inch wheels, they're concaved and they're definitely in your face for sure. Be of Goodrich tires. These are the Mud Terrain TA KM3s and they are a load range e 37 by 13 and a half 22 lt and it's an lt tire so hopefully you guys can see 3415 pounds of capacity at 75 psi interesting i've never thought to look at 22 inch wheels so i'm actually shocked by that capacity not bad at all and then you guys can see the suspension here you have those fox shocks bds and they do have an upgraded radius arm. And on the front end, you guys can see they did some upgrades for the steering. Right there. And that's pretty much it. Now this is more of a basic setup, I'll be honest. But we're going to drive this truck, so let's just kind of make our way around the truck beforehand. They did do some upgrades to your diffuser or your chin guard whatever you want to call it that way you clear these big old tires those are big tires 13 and a half wow fender flares were added from black widow 2 and some of their badging here and then out back this is a three-quarter ton so you're gonna have the coil suspension so more fox shocks right there upgrades here and you guys can see the coils are upgraded. It's actually not that great of a view on this side. Let's see if we can see it better here. Oh yeah. So yeah, you can see the coils there, and links, all that good stuff. But like I said, the stance on this truck is really nice. And as far as the interior goes, you guys heard it had the red LED accent lights. This one has the fifth wheel prep package. And you have the power deployable running boards through AMP Research. You guys see on the speedometer, has the Black Widow set up there. There's the red accident lights up front, it's on both sides, not in the rear, however. And then this guy that's plugged in is for the AMP Research steps. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. So yeah, that's for the ant research. 
nothing's different under the hood so you're gonna have 370 horsepower 850 pound-feet of torque 68 RV transmission which is a six-speed let's go ahead and take the truck for a quick drive now with any lifted truck you are going to be changing the characteristics of how it's going to handle for sure but I will say I've noticed that these aftermarket suspension companies have done a really good job of really keeping the drive about the same as stock or even a little bit better now you guys saw these are mud terrain tires so if you are someone who wants to go off-road and get this thing dirty these are probably the best tires that you can get now obviously 22 inch wheel you ain't going rock climb with this but you know if you need to go down a beaten path i mean these will probably do really good let's see if they have any noise though but the suspension around town does feel like it's stock acceleration it doesn't feel any slower i saw that they did recalibrate the speedometer and of course with the tire size really with the psi that these tires have you don't really have to recalibrate the tire pressure. So right now they're running it in the front at 65 PSI and the rear is 66 basically. The one on the driver's side out back is 65 too. But yeah, the truck feels really good, you know, under acceleration. It feels quick. I just had to hit the brakes just now. A car just pulled out in front of me. But yeah, it feels confident it doesn't feel much different the steering wheel is nice and straight why would someone buy a black widow for thirty thousand dollars versus just doing this themselves because i'll be honest with you guys this is a lot of money and most people are probably thinking i could probably do all of that including uh, the amp steps are probably about two thousand dollars maybe installed um the wheels and tires i mean i don't i don't i've never bought 22 inch wheels in this market so i don't know how much they would cost but figure the wheel and tires are maybe four thousand dollars and then the suspension of course insulation mountain balancing there's a lot of stuff that goes into it the fender flares the lighting inside the interior the recalibration there's a lot done here but the reason why you would buy this truck from the deal the way it's set up is because there's no downtime obviously right so you're paying for the benefit there also this is still covered under your three-year 36,000 mile warranty now not the factory one but the one that's from Black Widow and Black Widow is actually a household name so if you want to get this financed it's easier to get this done at a dealership versus you know you want to do this after the fact and have the dealership included into the financing so you can get this all financed and it will not affect your I guess loan to value as they would call it if you know what that is because you're spending another 30 grand on top of a 84,000 dollar truck that's going to affect the value of the truck somehow right so I think that's the biggest benefit is if someone just wants this look but they cannot afford to come out of pocket for it but they can finance it well this is the next best thing but yeah the truck feels really good it's solid the tires don't have a lot of noise and i think that if you want to have an exotic truck if you want to be seen if you want people to look at you that's probably why you bought this truck because it has that look to it it has that aura people are going to stare at you in this because it's a really cool truck and i've driven in a couple places today to get a thumbnail and people are walking on the sidewalk and they were like they almost fell over just looking at it because it's so big and it has a really nice presence on the road that's what you're into here are the numbers on the door gross axle rating up front will be 6,000 pounds the rear is 6,040 with a 10,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating and this is the original sticker you guys can see the payload at 1833 and 65 psi all the way around for the tires now they did add these stickers here and it shows the same payload at 1833 which i find that hard to believe with these larger wheels and tires but nevertheless same psi is what they're showing there for these wheels and tires and then this is this another sticker just showing the axle ratings all that good stuff because of the upfit now 
I think that most people are in the comment section and say this truck's not worth it. But as I said, most people looking to buy this truck, they're probably gonna be buying it in their business name or they just have the money to spend because this truck does look cool. And like I said earlier, if you are looking for like an exotic truck, that's basically what Black Widow is. Like pulling up in something like this is a status symbol and that's why people buy it.